Nice little mix bag today for a quick little session. What's going on guys? We are out here today in the middle of the Gulf. I'm visiting some friends over here. I'm gonna fall in trying to give you a little 360 view. And we're in a 29 Roballo and this boat is sick. We got a lot of room. We got flat seas. We're just getting started. We got a couple fish in the box already. But I'm gonna switch up to a jig, a little uh, Spro jig. And something I really like to use on them is some kind of tail. These are the fish bite, uh, little grub tails, curly tail things. What they call, oh, we got a fish in the back. Timmy's on in the back but I think that's on a jig also. I'm gonna use the jig with these and we'll get started with you once uh, we get it set up. All right. That was good timing, man. Catching a fish during my intro. Uh -huh. <laughs> there you go. What do we got? A little red. A little baby little red rabbit. group. Uh, So when you pull these fish up from down deep, they can't make it back down. We got to vent them. So and so you go right in the, this is deflating their uh, swim bladder. Cause that's going to keep them floating. And it's basically a needle and just give it a little poke. You can hear the air come out. And then now the fish can really quickly swim back down. All right, Fish Bites Fight Club. This is what we're working with right here. We're going to go ahead and just kind of tip it. They're scented. That's all we want right there. Toss them out, send it down to the bottom. About 100 foot or however deep we are right now, 120. Going down. Yeah, Instant shoe. All right, we got them off the bottom, so that was the hard part. That thing, I didn't even move it. It was as soon as it touched bottom. Little scamper. Yeah, no, that's all right. So that is a beautiful scamp grouper. Might be a little too small to keep, but we'll, we'll measure them up. Going back down. Going back down. Ooh, Tim's on. On a live bait. So he's fishing live bait. I got my jig going down. We're gonna see if we can double up here. I gotta get to the bottom before he hooks up or gets his up though. There we go. And I just kind of bounce them like this right on the bottom. Works real good for snappers and groupers. Oh, I had him right when I went to go open the bale. Oh, he hit it again. How's that thing? Nice red. Come on. Come on. Oh, he slammed it. No. All right. I think we got him off the bottom. Where's the net? Uh, I think I set it down up front. Yeah. Woo! So the rod and reel we're using here is this Salt X 6000 by Tsunami. And also the Carbon Shield Rod 8-footer. Really fun setup for these. We'll call them medium size groupers. This feels bigger than that last scamp though. He's not fighting at all now. It's just got like heavy dead weight, like a red. So that is my guess. Nope. Oh yeah, yeah. Nice red. In the bag. Thank you. That's a nice size one. That is a good size. Let's see. Look at that, that is a chunky red. And you can see he's got that bait right in his mouth. Fish Bites Fight Club, check him out. He smoked that thing. I think he's 
definitely 20 inches. Yeah, we'll measure them up just to make sure. Yeah. Just do, don't get poked by them. It's a squirrel snapper. They're good to eat. Just don't get poked by them. Is that good to eat? Sorry. Is that good to eat? Yeah, yeah, they're good to eat. It's good to eat? Yeah. Is it big enough? That's kind of small. That has the eye. Just do not get poked by him. That is a cool looking fish. Damn. Dinner, son. <laughs> Come on. Got one. We got one. I wonder if it's a red. Oh wow. Look at the spot. Come on, buddy. That's a lot. Of, that's all fish, right? Start to see color soon. There's my top shot. It's a red grubba. Oh man. What's wrong with his eye? Red grubba. He saw something there. really surprising. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, go on the tackle box and get my fish stretcher, Ryan. <laughs> Here you go, another one for the jig. You got a banner? I just got a really nervous bait. Oh, yeah, boy! That's a big fatty! Alright, Tim. Ryan! You got him, Let go! Yeah. The fatty? Oh, look who's got one. I got really one. No, I got one. Oh, yeah. Here we go. We got a red coming over the rail. Got another netter. Wait, can you grab a pipe? Oh. <laughs> oh, nice. And we get our bait back. I got him. You want the flyer? I don't know. Right there. Oh, man. Oh, right there. You want to measure? Ooh. Might as well. Get it. Get Is that 20? It. What do you think? Nah, 19. Yeah. Brett! Yeah. 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 Nice little red right group up. See you later. Twos, baby. Twenty-two. That is a keeper. Where's the send that down? There. All right. Can you see him? Hold him up real quick. There he is. Dinner. Yeah. That is just about the bottom. Oh, he's already on it. Here we go. Hooked up. Two pin. Two reds on one pin fish. That's another red. There must be so many of these things down there. Tim, can you help him get that off? I need to get the other back. I can't Woo! Got a little one. Such a pretty fish. Yeah, it goes, man. You never know. There you go. See that? You got a whole lot skinnier. Did you lose it? And... He gone. Alright, he's on it. Is there any edges on it? Doesn't feel giant. Nah, I think we're alright. Same thing. What's the story out here? Another red. Another red. Yeah, we've already got five reds. Go off the backside. Well, that one's too small. That one's, yeah. Show you guys this venting tool again. Just put it right in there. Can you hear that? It just deflates them. 
Without that vent tool, they just float on the surface till they die. But with it, they're gone. So we got a nice little mixed bag today for a quick little session. Red groupers, scamps. That thing's a stud. Look at that thing. And this guy is super cool looking. Time to get to chopping. What do you got there? What do you got there? Bunch of fish? Are you gonna eat it? No. Why? Because. We still got a little bit more to do here. But we're making headway. <laughs> 